Yep, yeah, we've changed location because yeah, it's getting too hot. It's getting too hot, yeah. We've put the sunshade out. Half ten in the morning. And the sun's now getting blocked off. So we were then just going to finish off on our stay at the Seven Isles, which is on the Pink Granite Coast. Yes, in a place called Trelevin. Trelevin, sounds, which sounds very Cornish. Very Cornish. Very and Cornish. And it looked very Cornish it did. as well. So we got on the site which has these individual pitches and then there's a granite wall and there's the sea and then the seven isles you can see across the bay into the bay it's lovely so it's a lovely vista for uh, early mornings and late evenings as yes, well. yeah yeah so we stayed there four nights and uh, explored all explored along that the area coast. did some walking up onto a hill looking down onto the beach where we were camped yeah. And then we did a trip around a sort of circular route. Yes, all around the Rose Granite to, Coast. We'll yeah. put a map on so that you can see where it is. Some of the viewpoints were Brilliant. absolutely amazing. And we had lovely weather for it. Um, so um, we'll put on um, the videos of that mm -hmm. and um, point the names so that you can see where they are if you want to visit yourself. And certainly the Seven Isles. Um, was a great location again. You can order your bread fresh every day. The staff are absolutely lovely. The facilities aren't like they are in England, but no, I don't. More, more on the basic side. Very but, basic, really. Yeah. Um, but clean. Yeah. Um, so it's all serviceable. And we yeah, can... yeah. It's the location, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it scores on location. Yeah, yeah. It really does. You come does. down this winding, a narrow road all the way down to the. Uh, the coastal beach. area yeah. by the beach, so it's well tucked away. Yes, it is, so and well worth good. doing. And then they were kite surfing one of the days as well. Yes, they were. Yeah. The kites all Very high tidal range, wasn't it? And yeah. as the tide yeah. went out, all these rocks appeared. Um, it was amazing, actually. And then when we drove round a bit further afield, uh, we came across a, a plage grise blanche. Ah, um, oh, the rock formations there. I've never seen anything like it no, no, and we'll, we'll again we'll really put those on so yes. that you can see them and um, tell you you know on the map where they are so as Caroline said we made our way from there to here yeah I drove Caroline drove yes and uh, managed all the motorways all fine and then yeah. we resorted to sat now for the last bit on the phone into Kilcom into Kilcom or Kilcom it is, yeah. it is a little bit it's, it's tricky with the, -like. the one way system and stuff but we found yeah. it fine yeah and with these lovely gardens as we said that's what we'll show you later. Yeah. They See look you soon. lovely. See you soon. Bye. So we've just left the van and we're walking away down this uh, lovely wooded path. Uh, somebody who now lives on this site from the UK said this was the best way to get down to the river and see the uh, chateau in all its glory. So uh, on such a lovely day it seems the right thing to do is to uh, take a stroll through the woods. That's where the wedding is today, I think. And a very nice location. Yes. And everywhere you see these wonderful rhododendrons. Yes. Yeah. Impressive piece of architecture. Do you think this was a fountain? Yes. 